you shouldn't be walking down this place with these sodomites, man. Right. That's evil. Right, Reed? Why did you call my boy the devil? Because he is a devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Because those people are contrary to you. Those people had your ancestors in slavery, man. Those people still rule the kingdom that you're still in captive in, man. of sin death man so you don't want to get caught up and be put to death for breaking the commandments of the most high god man so that's what's required of us the so-called black hispanic and americans who are the israelites that the bible speaks of man we have to follow the ways of the lord rather than the ways of our oppressor man because right now this is what you call being in the midst of sodom and gomorrah man and what happened in the midst of Sodom and Gomorrah. It got destroyed by fire and brimstone. And that's what's happening in these last days, man. The Lord is raising up his army, right, to profess the good news to the people of the book, man, right, and bring us back to our old days, our elder, uh, uh, what we used to follow in the elder times, man, so we can get the king. That law. That, that law. law. That's right. We got to follow the law, man, because we are no longer, right, God. We are no, we're no longer, or we're still under the old covenant. The only thing we're not doing is animal sacrifice, man. right? Because Christ came to be that ultimate sacrifice, right? So you definitely still have to keep the commandments till this day, man. Now, please help. Go ahead. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 2, and verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, into what? Into ashes, uh -huh. condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. Right. So, hey, remember, hey, no, that sooner or later, man, you got World War Three on the rise, man. And what's going to be turning into turning this world to ashes, man? Thermonuclear weapons, man. Right? The Lord is going to utilize these kings or these presidents of the world, man. He's going to tap into their brain and he's going to make them go to war against each other, man. And you see the things happening right now. Putin, he heads up with Biden, you know, so-called Kim Jong-un. He making leads with Xi Jinping and so on and so forth, man. You know, the Lord is turning the minds of these kings to come together and come against this place right here, Babylon the Great, That's to right. destroy this place, man. So he'll deliver us, the righteous children of Israel, out of captivity, man. That's, that's right. That's right, man. Read that. This book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 4. Right out. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her. What the Lord said. Come, Come out, out of, of her, her, my people. Right. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Right. And that ye receive not of her plagues. All praise to the most high, man. Right? So, hey, first and foremost, man, I want to give all honor and all glory to your hope. By Shema Mashiach Yahushai, man. Right? And I want to, hey, say, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man, it's time to wake up and get out of this place, man. You know what I'm saying? This is Babylon the Great. This is the land of confusion. And you can see exactly what's going on. A bunch of madness and confusion in the world, man. Give me second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1 real quick, man. I mean, utter madness, man. Lewdness, wickedness, sex, uh, 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 uh. man on man, a woman on woman, man. Something that the Lord did not ordain, man. Pure evil, man. Read that. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Hey, don't worry about this devil because he ain't worried. We ain't turning nothing down, Satan. So watch out, man. So just watch out. Right? But we'll just watch out. We ain't worried about that. We come out here to you go into quote. You can talk from a distance, man. You can talk from a distance, man. Right? Hey, don't worry about it because he ain't gonna he ain't gonna touch nothing. Yeah, don't worry. We're not turning nothing down, Esau. Nothing's turning down. Right? So don't worry about it. He ain't doing nothing, man. So anyway, man. Right, read that from the top again, King. 
and God's second Esther, chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou this time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what you see, man. You see your nasty Solomon Gomorrah out here, man. Men dressed as women, man. Women dressed as men. Doing hey, ungodly things, man. Hey, the Lord said, if you see the time, if you check the clock, the world, man, what's going on? War, pestilence, famine, hatred, nothing but lewd, nasty, disgusting whales dressing up like damn ballerinas, man, with their ass cheeks up, man. Hey. Full of madness, man. The Lord said, this is the time when I am going to start visiting the world which I made, man. Right? Hey, matter of fact, give me Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse, uh, start at 1. Right? Start from the top, man. Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. Hello. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Perilous times shall come. Uh -huh. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. And what do you see? Men lovers of their own selves, man. Hey, drawn away by their own lust, man. Doing things that they ought not, man. Speaking things that they ought not, man. Right? Out here being pure wicked, man. Read. Covetous. Boasters. Proud. What? Proud. What? Proud. What? Proud. What? Proud. Proud. Uh -huh. Disobedient to parents. Right. Unthankful. On Un what? Unthankful. Uh -huh. Unholy. Unholy. Without natural affection. Right. Truth breakers. Uh huh. False accusers. Uh huh. It is uh, incontent. Right. Fierce. Despisers of those that are good. And that's what you see. Despisers of those that are good. Right. What is good? Keeping the commandments of the Most High God, that's man. Right. Everything you see right here before your eyes is contrary to the Most High God. Yeah, how about Shimmy How Shine, man? Hey, sister. Hey, sister. You got two minutes real quick. Can I holler at you? Right? I'll praise to the Most High, man. Hey, don't grab away, Esau. Don't grab up that sister like that, man. Right? right? Hey, you shouldn't be with that devil in the first place, sister, but I'm glad you joined your brothers, right? So check this out, right? What we teaching out here, we're teaching the Bible, but we're teaching the truth of the Bible. We're not Christians up here like you see in the church. Church, man. We come to tell you that the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the people that you read about when you open the Bible. Those are your ancestors, man, right? And we understand this by history, archaeology, and prophecy, man, right? In the last days, the Lord said, hey, perilous times are going to come when you see men, lovers of themselves, man, war on the earth, man, right? Hatred among your brothers, man, killing at a high level, right? These things are signs of the end of the times, man, where the bruise, man, when you see before you right now men from all over this nation man you got milwaukee out here you got chicago st louis memphis man Little Rock. Right. brothers coming from everywhere indiana man ah. coming together to teach our people that you are special give me deuteronomy right. 76 i want to show you what god thinks about you sister read that it's the book of deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6 for thou art an holy people unto the lord thy god the lord said you holy meaning you're separate right. you're separate from all this madness man read the lord thy god has chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself now when you're special right so say for instance you got a pair of shoes that you like more than all the other shoes right that's your special pair well guess what the lord has a special people that he loves and is greater than all these other people walking on this earth man read right. above all people not the same man above, above all people right that are upon the face of the earth so with knowing that information you have to separate from this madness man you have to be different from what this world teaches you this right. world world teaches you contrary to what the Lord tells you. Because guess what? You know that you can actually be an enemy of God. Give me James 4 and 4. You can actually be an enemy of God if you partake in the things that this world has to offer, man. Because the Lord created what from the beginning? Man and woman. He said what? Be fruitful and multiply. A woman and a woman can't make babies. A man and a man can't make babies. So they are therefore contrary to life. Right? Read that. It's the book of James chapter 4 and verse 4. You are daughters and adulteresses. Uh -huh. Know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with Yahweh? Right. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world, what? a friend of the world uh -huh. is the enemy of Yahweh. So if you are a friend of the world and the things that this world teach you, man, then you will be an enemy of God. Right. Because guess what? This world tells you that man on man relations is okay, all love is cool. But the Lord said, La I. That's evil in the sight, man. Don't do those things because you're contrary to the Lord, man. Right? Because what happens when a man goes inside of a man? 
man's rectum. Things come about like AIDS, right. HIV, all these types of things happen, man. Why? It's because they're judgments of the Most High God, man. Right. You guys go ahead, sister. The purpose is to wake you up to show you that you are a princess on this earth. God chose you out of many people, man, on this earth. And that you are chosen and greater than anybody. And you're supposed to be separate from what the things this world has to offer. You shouldn't be walking down this place with these sodomites, man. Right. That's evil. Right, Read. Why did you call my boyfriend a devil? Because he is a devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Because those people are contrary to you. Those people had your ancestors in slavery, man. Those people still rule the kingdom that you're still a captive in, man. Give me Baruch 3 and 4. I want to show you something real quick. Because you got to understand that you're not free. You may feel like you're free because you get certain benefits, man. But guess what? The Lord said you're not free, man. Right. Read that. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 4. Oh, Lord Almighty. It's like it. Verse 8, and it reads, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast countered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payment. Right, because you still paying taxes, man. You still going to the store that your oppressor owns. You still got to get a loan or a, a license or birth certificate, even a death certificate from your oppressor, man. The clothes that you got on your back. Your people pick trillions and trillions of dollars worth of cotton right. for free right. and built up this nation, man. Right. But you don't own any textile mills to put those clothes together that you wear. Right. You got to go to somebody, man, that did that and put their name on it, man, just to get that money from you, man. Right? Your last name belongs to you're oppressive, man. Right. right? You're still in captivity. Right. You can't even leave the country without what? A passport. A permission slip from your oppressor. Right? Read. The last thing I'm going to say is that's actually not for me true. I'm a child of immigrants from Nigeria. Yeah, well, sister, guess what? In Nigeria, your people are slaves, too, because our people come from that coast, man, right? Our people come from over there, yeah. Those Nigerians over there as well, they're Judites, man. They come from the kingdom of Judah, man, over there, right? It's like a very poorly informed... So you telling me there ain't no white people over there oppressing? So those Chinese people ain't over there in Africa uh, gold mining and things of that nature? But you grew up in that, and you understand the context for the white, white people. I understand exactly why the things are because the Lord put you in captivity. Right. The Lord made you discontinue from your heritage. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. The Lord took your name from you and gave you your oppressor's name, man. Right? That's the reason why. What's your last name, may I ask? Yeah. Hey, well, guess what? I bet you a white man over there had your people in slavery, man. Right? Because guess what? You're from the land of Africa, right? I'm not from. Like, that's your not people, Nigeria, is in Africa, right? That's not I'm asking you a question. Nigeria is in Africa, right? Well, guess what Africa's named after? A white man named Leo Scipio Africanus, right, man. Right. That came and took over that land and defeated Hannibal in the Second Punic War and put his name on it, man. Right, right, right. right? The land that you stand in right now is named after Americo Vespucci, a Italian map maker, right. another white man that conquered this place and put his name on it, man. Right. That's what I'm saying. You don't understand that you are a, a, a princess on this earth. You're royalty. You're actually, you have the blood of the one they call Jesus Christ. Not this nasty white man, but the black man that the Bible speaks of. That's your people. Yeah, so I don't want to say God bless y'all. I'm going to cut out, but God bless y'all. I would really appreciate it. Okay, well, listen to this last one before you leave. Give me Luke 13 and 3. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I really appreciate if y'all take into account that not all believers believe the same thing that you do. And there are different denominations and there are different Well, guess what? Different denominations are of the devil, man. The Lord only gave you law, statutes, and commandments to follow. He never gave you religion. But right. sister, I'm going to leave you with this. If you don't want to believe it, if you don't Listen, read that. This book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. Uh -huh. I tell you nay, uh -huh. but except ye repent. But what? But except ye repent, read. ye shall all likewise perish. So sister, if you don't come out of the ways of this world and you don't repent and come back to your true nationality, which is an Israelite, you will be put to death in the land of your captivity, man. God will kill you, man. And it's just the honest truth. So if you don't believe that, then hey, that's on you. But I implore you to repent because you are princess of the most high. You are royalty. And it's time to separate from this land man and know that you are better than what this world offers man because this world lets you do anything you want to free love but the Lord said look I will kill you if you do certain acts man you have to believe that sister because it's the truth you are separate from this world man that's why we tell you this because this is love right we actually love you you are our sister you are amongst family right now
Give me Romans 3 and 3. God bless you. Uh -huh. And have a fair Thank you. All right, sister. Hey, well, I'll leave you this. Romans 3 and 3. Thank you, sir. Take a Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. And it reads, oh. For what the son did not believe. What the Lord said. For what the son did not believe. Uh -huh. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? Uh -huh. yeah. God forbid. Hey, it's that simple, man. Hey, just because you don't believe don't mean the truth of the Most High is not out here coming and told you in front of your face, man. The Lord said, man, the day is going to come where you, hey, matter of fact, give me that Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse uh, 5, right? Ezekiel 2 and 5. Book of Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse number 5. Yeah. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house. Now, what? They are a rebellious house. Uh -huh. Yet shall they know that there have been a prophet among them. So in that day when you have a shot crack that sky and he come and say, remember that day when you were standing before the men of the Lord and they tried to tell you what was going on and you refused it? Guess what? Off with your head, man. Right. And it's that simple. Give me Luke 19 and 27, man. Right? It's off with your head, Jake. Eve, if you refuse to listen. Hey, brother, you got a couple minutes to hear the words of the Lord? Come chop it up with your brothers. Read that. Let's look at Luke chapter 19 and verse 27. Uh -huh. But those mine enemies, what the Lord say? but, but those my mine enemies, enemies uh -huh. which would not that I should reign over them, right. bring him, do what? Bring him uh -huh. and slay them before me. And that's exactly what the Lord is going to do. He's going to bring you here and he's going to have the men of the Lord slay you, man, right. in front of him, man. And that's it, man. Because you refuse to allow the Lord to reign over you. Hey, right. sister, you got two minutes to hear the words of the Lord, man. Separate from that devil, man. You better than that, man. Get some clothes on, man. Right? Have some dignity and pride in yourself, man. And not in this lustful, nasty, wicked kingdom, man. Give me Genesis chapter 6 and verse 5, man. Right? Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 1. Hear ye the word of which the Lord speak. What's going on, sister? How you doing today? Right? What's your nationality, my sister? Huh? Oh, he got me. He got him saying that. Huh? Yes, what's your ethnicity? You believe in the Bible? Can you go anywhere in the Bible and find anywhere that God said that you are black? See that? So you gotta ask yourself, why do you call yourself black? Why is the reason why you call yourself black? Because when I'm looking at you, I see brown, beautiful skin, man. Right? I don't see a black woman. You know who I see? I see a beautiful Israelite woman, man. A Judite, man. Right? Give me Psalm chapter 50, verse 2. Right? Let me show you something real quick, sister. All praise to the Most High. Right? Read that. Read that. Chapter 50 and verse 2. Out of Zion. Out of what? Out of, out of Zion. Zion is what? The, the perfection, perfection of beauty. The Lord said out of Zion, which is another name for Israel, is the perfection of beauty, man. I see a princess before me right now, man. I see royalty, man. I see servants upon horses and royalty walking upon the ground, man. Do you know that you're not supposed to be any part of this festivity going on? Right? Matter of fact, I'm going to ask you a question. What is your sexual preference? You prefer our praise to the Most High, as it should be, right? As it should be, man. Be Go ahead. Why not? You know you have a position on the earth and you have a duty to correct your people, right? If you see your people dealing with certain things of the that's contrary to the Most High God, man, that, hey, they'll be put to death, right? Give me uh, uh, Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17 real quick. Right, read that. This book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Do what? Rebuke thy neighbor uh -huh. and not suffer sin upon him. So the Lord said you have to judge your neighbor. Right. You have to show them. If they're in sin, you have to reprove them and tell them to get out of it, man. Like, give me Jude chapter 1 and verse 21, right? You have to show them that they're going down the wrong road, right? I read that. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 15. Uh -huh. yeah. But he that is spiritual, what did you say? For he that is spiritual uh -huh. judges all things. Right, give me right, so what does that mean to be spiritual, sister? You know? 
I'm going to show you, sister, if you don't know, I'm going to show you, right? Read that. God, this is the book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 14. And it reads, for we know that the law is spiritual. Hey, what? Talking. Uh, what do you say? That's crazy. Okay, man. I knew they were finna try to change something, man. That's all, man. Right. But nevertheless, sister, we coming out here to teach that the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, man. You are God's chosen people, and you have to be separate from this place, man. You have to come out of the ways of America, man, and repent and come back to the Most High God. Right? Hey, officer, we'll take it down. Hey, hey, don't worry about it. We'll take it down. We'll take it down. All right. So, you got any questions, sister? You got any questions for me? Yes, actually, we do. We have uh, somebody give her a flyer. Right? Reach out, sister. Right. Check out that information, sister. You are Israelite that the Bible speaks of, man. Separate from your enemies, man. Take heed of your friends. Come back and keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. Right. Do 1 and 21. You said I was naked. Huh? You are, sister. I see your body. You're supposed to be modest. You're supposed to respect yourself. It might be hot, but guess what? You got modest dresses that you can get that free throw air, sister. You got to take care of yourself. You're a stripper. Well, guess what? That's abomination to the Lord, man. But listen, I'm going to show you what this is. Read. This is the Jude chapter 1 and verse 21. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Looking for the mercies of our Lord. Yeah, I was trying my siyak unto eternal life. Because what you want to do is keep yourself in the love of God, man. You want to keep yourself in the good graces of the Most High, man. Because in these last days, we living in, if you get caught slipping in your sin, you're going to be put to death, right? And you got to understand, you got to understand that homosexuality is a sin, according to the Bible, right? Read. Verse 22, and, uh, and of some have compassion, uh -huh. making a difference, uh -huh. and others save with fear, save with fear, uh -huh. pulling them out of the fire. We trying to pull you out the fire, sister, so you won't get burned by them nuclear fire, uh, them bombs that's coming this way, man. Huh? Well, guess what? Man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Most High, man. Right? You gotta let your spirit be fed before you feed your physical body. Because eventually, this is not gonna be here no more. But your spirit, man, is gonna be going on, man. You're gonna die, you're gonna be woken back up by your house side when the world calls Christ, and you're gonna be put to death again by thermonuclear fire if you don't change your ways, man. Right? And this is true down here, man. You gotta keep the commandments. You gotta repent for being a stripper. You gotta repent for being homosexual. You gotta repent from running around with your enemies out here. Right. Y'all sisters are princesses in the sight of the most high God, man. Y'all royalty, man. This ain't no joke, man. You gonna laugh now, but you gonna cry later, man. This is love. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, do you know how to repent? How do you repent, sister? Huh? What you say? Well, how do you repent? Let me see if you have Sister, the question is, how do you repent? Where's that in the Bible? Live your best life. Well, guess what? Hey, give me Baruch 401. I'm gonna show you something because that's not true. Check this out. Uh, read that Baruch 401. Listen to this, sister. Baruch 401. Chapter 4 and verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandments of God uh -huh. and the law that endured forever. Uh -huh. And the law that endured forever. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. That's right, because if you keep the commandments of the law of the most high, you will not die, man. But you will come to life, man. Right? If you don't, you're going to die, man. Right? Give me Joshua 24 15. Read that. God, this book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Right. Yeah. And it reads. And that knowing the time, that now it is our time to awake out of sleep. Right. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man, it's high time that you wake up out of this damn sleep, man, and return back to your true nationality, the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, and repent, man, and keep the commandments, man, or you will die, man. Read. It's the 
book of Joshua chapter 24 and verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the blood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, as for me and my house, we will serve your home. So as for the commandment keeping, faith ever Israelites, man, we gonna serve you how about Shimmy Yahweh Shah. But with that, boom, that's so Overcame Babylon, we Israel, now we gird it up Ever since we came into the truth, we got our birdies up Eat this Mac, think you funny, watch how it'll burn you up I live three miles down, by the Sabbath journey up Esau see us coming up, just watch how we just turn him up In the kingdom, keep the law, we gon' have him double dutch Occupy till I come, go ahead and eat this honey up Anytime I see a blood moon, it got me jumping up Esau doing coke, yeah, now he fanny up I done got my spirit up, now let's just see what's up